Hi everyone, in this lecture we are going to take a look at SQL Alchemy ORM interactions with Postgres. So I have taken the liberty to write these first. So we have imported create engine and func from the SQL Alchemy, then from SQL Alchemy ORM, the session maker and the declarative base. We have created our um, engine, then declarative base, and we have said that the metadata has to reflect the engine as well. Now, we know the SQL Alchemy ORM, it is going to be like object-centric view, so we can basically say sale, we can create classes. I'm going to pass in base, and here as usual, we are going to create our table, we are going to reference our table, and I'm going to say base dot uh, metadata, so metadata dot tables, what is the table that we are Working with, it is the sale table. Perfect. Let's create a string representation of that as well. And I'm going to pass in, uh, so this requires a self parameter. And then we are going to say return. Basically, I'm just going to copy this and I'm going to paste it here. It's very difficult to write, and I'm sure you're going to get it. So we have order number, or a type, customer number, a customer name, order uh, product name, quantity, order total. And then we have basically styled them. Now, uh, we are going to create our session, and I'm going to specify it. I'm going to define it within a load, load, uh, load session function. So I'm going to say load session there is no parameter so we are going to grab our session and I'm going to set it to session maker let's bind it to engine so engine bind and then we are going to grab this session there are three S's and I'm gonna I'm gonna pass this one as capital S and this one as lowercase s just to differentiate between them so I'm going to pass in capital S session, session, come on, buddy, I-O-N, there we go. And then we just want to return the session. Now we are going to check the module as well. So if name, name is equal to uh, main, if this is the main module, then we are going to load our session. So we are going to say session is load session. Let's just call that function. And it is going to return this session for us. Now, uh, first, the reading capability or the reading functionality or operation. We are going to say, um, uh, let's say we want to grab the smallest sales. So I'm going to say smallest underscore sales. And I'm going to say session. We know with SQL Alchemy ORM, we are going to grab session to query data. So I'm going to say query. We have already done this a lot. Let's pass in the uh, class sale dot order by. So we want order them by um, sales sale dot order total order total just by order total and we want to limit limit it to 10 now let's say print smallest sales I hope it grabs the smallest other one otherwise I'm just gonna call it sales customer underscore name just grab the customer name so this is the reading capability uh, let's go ahead and let's actually insert as well so I'm gonna say insert So the way that we can insert is, I'm going to say um, insert sale. There we go. So let's grab our uh, class, and then we are going to insert the order number, basically all the information that we have. And I'm going to insert all of these in there, all of these, just to save you some time. They basically say we want this order number, this type, customer name is going to be Udemy product number, product name, quantity, price, discount, and total. This is going to be what we are inserting into our database. And then uh, let's say print insert sale. 
Then let's commit these changes. So I'm going to say session dot at uh, insert sale insert underscore sale session dot add insert sale and then session dot commit. There is no IntelliSense nowadays. So the insert is done as well. And uh, if no, not finally, the finally is the delete. Let's update it. So I'm going to say insert sale dot quantity uh, quantity. I want to I want to update it to let's say I'm going to add it first as five. So uh, this is going to be 380, I think. It is going to be 380. So 5, uh, five times 70, we got 350. 5 times 370, uh, 375, sorry. So 375. There we go. So if, if we pass in, let me just grab the calculator. I'm a little bit tired. I'm going to say 5 times 75. I was correct. I'm not tired. I'm perfect. So uh, we're going to add the quantity to 4. Let's just reduce it by 1. And insert sale dot order total. Order underscore total is going to be reduced by that amount. So when we say it is 4, we got basically 3,000. I'm kidding. We got 300. So session dot commit. Let's commit our changes. I hope there are no uh, typos so far. Now let's update it. So we are going to say updated sale is going to be equal to session dot query query. Uh, let's pass in the sale class dot filter. So let's filter this. So what do we want to filter it by? So we are going to say sale dot order num we are just trying to take a look at it it is 199.88 so the same order number that we had there and let's grab the first of that and i'm going to say print updated sale and for the final functionality we are going to say deleting or delete to stay consistent let me come let me provide some space. So I'm going to say uh, returned, returned underscore sale. This is going to be delete. So session assassin session uh, dot query. Let's pass in the class and let's filter it. Now, what is the filter is going to be based on? The filter is going to be based on the order number that we have there. And let's grab the first of that and I'm going to say session dot delete. So we do have a delete method returned. Uh, where is our returned? So returned ed sale. And it, finally, we are just going to commit the changes dot commit. Hopefully it is going to be work. It is going to work. So there was a lot of code. Let me just uh, say save that. Let's just copy this name. Python pass that in dot pi. Oops, did I not just copy that? I think I did not. So let's just copy it again. Uh, come on, be deleted. There we go. Pi. Okay, self. It says invalid sent syntax or invalid syntax within here. Oh, we forgot to provide our colon. So it says return sale. Um, or no, it says expected an indent. Oh, the indentation is messed up. There we go. So it should work fine. Some minor typos happens to the best of us has metadata object has no attribute table and it says line 13 class sale and line 14 so line 13 it is base we did create the base there 
and we said base declarative base we passed in the engine 13 base dot metadata dot table oh it is actually tables it's not table it's plural let's make clear that let's run it again that was three errors hopefully we are just take a look at this so what it did was it did print out the columns so there is another bigger error and it says permission denied for table sale and here is the line that we ran in here and it says background on this error okay this is I uh, I haven't seen this one before so it says limit parameters parameters select query select order as select um, permission denied for table sale SQL Alchemy programming error psychop g psychop g2 permission denied is there something i'm missing here i'm not really sure about that um hmm. so we got the metadata base it says permission denied psychop.errors insufficient privilege it didn't provide us with the permission so let's go over this so we got from sql alchemy we imported engine and funk and then from orm we imported the session maker and then we said that ext declarative declarative base postgres oh th this is the problem now this is not halali i forgot to write the correct database the correct username the username is m halali it's not alone halali that's why there is no permission there is no halali there is a halali but we are not really dealing with that so in here you can see it's uh, Reggie Reggie Gleason zoom in a little uh, we got or a number Udemy which is five so this is the first one there we go so if I come here this is this part reading it reading from it and then this is going to be this is the Reggie Gleason which is the smallest sale that we got and then insert this is the insert statement so I'm just gonna I could provide uh, some comments in here just to make sure they are better readable smallest and let's provide us some space after the comma copy that paste that here I'm gonna say uh, new record I'm gonna pass that in here updated updated record so you have the better idea you have a better idea uh, let's just save those let's say clear let's run this program again and it should be it should work better so this is our new record that we added this is the updated record so what is updated from quantity 5 it has gone down to quantity 4 and the price has also changed so the smallest is Reggie Gleason all right so uh, let's just go in here and let's just take a look at that for ourselves so I'm gonna say select uh, from sale uh, where uh, the input no not input order num order underscore num is equal to 199.88 there are uh, no records I think we also deleted those that's why there are no records we deleted that yeah there we go we deleted that that's why it doesn't actually exist there so if I um, if I comment this part out technically we should be able to add it again so I can just grab it within that uh, SQL shell so let me just clear everything out it is seven let's add it there we go so we should not have duplicates at this at this moment let's run it again there we go so we got order number this or a type customer name product number product name quantity price and this is the updated version because we did update it right so we entered it let me bring this down we uh, inserted it and then we updated it here now if I just run this 
just provide that there, it is going to delete it. So there is no uh, record like that anymore. So background again, there is another error. And uh, let me just zoom out a little. So it says, okay, where is duplicate key value violates constraint. Oh, I know why is that? Because we did not comment out these parts. So whenever you insert, you need to comment that insert out just because it is going to insert it again and you're going to end up with duplicate key. So if I run this uh, again, we should be able to remove that smallest. Perfect. So if I come in here and if I run it again, there we go. You can see nothing is in here. So with this, our lecture comes to an end. See you in the next one.